Almost everyone has seen those ads on TV late at night that claim that you can get upfront money immediately if you have a personal injury case. It sounds like a great deal. Free, easy money. But is it too good to be true? First of all, what is pre-settlement funding? Well, it's a cash advance on an expected settlement in a pending legal matter. Significantly, these are not loans from a government regulated bank. The funding is from companies that are in the business to make money for themselves. They agree to loan money and then wait to get paid back, plus a lot of interest at the end of a case. So how does it work? A person with an injury claim contacts a funding company and requests a certain amount of money. The funding company will then evaluate the strengths and the weaknesses of a case and determine whether it is willing to give money. If it agrees to lend money, it will make a determination as to the amount that it is willing to loan. Understand that lawyers are not allowed to loan money to clients. Funding companies make their own independent decisions as to which cases they will give money in and how much. If an agreement is reached, the company will have the person sign a contract and his or her lawyer will also sign acknowledging the agreement. The company now has a lien against the person's case. What this means is that when a case is settled, the lawyer must directly pay back what is owed to the funding company from the settlement proceeds. Importantly, before the client can get any money. So far, still probably sounds good, but, and unfortunately there is a but, these loans come at an extremely high cost. They are not regulated like normal banks, so they often charge crazy high interest and underwriting fees. And I mean crazy high. I have seen situations where someone borrows $5,000 and ends up having to pay back over $20,000 on the loan. In addition to high interest, many lenders have to pay a brokerage fee to a middleman and of course the cost is passed on to the borrower. There are often charges for transaction fees for services like document preparation. So ultimately, are these loans good or bad? Well, it depends on a person's individual situation. I tell my clients to avoid these loans if at all possible. You will be better off in the long run. Who wants to have to pay back double, triple, or possibly more than they borrowed? Sometimes these loans can take most of someone's settlement money. And in general, the longer that it takes to resolve a case, the more interest that accrues. And oftentimes, a case can take a long time. I've seen situations where by the time a case settles, the borrower actually forgot that he or she had even borrowed money and is completely shocked at the amount owed. However, Sometimes it is necessary, and I totally get it. A person could be injured and unable to work, but yet have to make car payments, rent payments, and put food on the table. I would only recommend taking one of these loans if you are desperate for money to pay for necessary things and you have no other source. I would caution that you take the smallest amount necessary, only use the money for necessary living expenses. Using that $500 loan to buy that nice TV could end up costing you $2,000 for a $500 TV. Hopefully this information was helpful. I'd appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel, click like, and share with friends. If you have any questions, leave me a comment or shoot me an email. And remember, if it's about you, then it is high stakes.